Greetings and welcome to the Video Ninjas Review! Today's item is the Covenant Plasma Pistol Laser Pursuit Gaming Set. It is a tie-in with a Halo 3 game and is a life-size replica of the plasma pistol you can fire in the game. It's one of the items. Right now we're looking at the box, courtesy of Microsoft, yada yada yada, printed on recycled paper, which is good. Functions on three AA batteries, courtesy of Jasmine USA Incorporated. Suppose if you want to find out what they do, there it is. Some quick things, you know, no melee, should not be using it to hurt people, blah blah blah, watch out for frequency signals, all the basics. Let's get down to the business. As I said, this is a life-size replica. It functions on three AA batteries, and this is some of the gratuitous gun porn that you can look at. It lights up, it vibrates and corresponds with every shot. You have the trigger, the reload button, a mega shot option, all of which you'll see later, and it just looks pretty freaking cool. It's about it's a, it's very well sized for an adult hand. There's a full body shot of the thing. There's the emitters at the end there. And then you also have the speaker on the side. Oh, but how does it shoot? It shoots pretty freaking well. There's the mega shot. Hold it for three seconds and it vents. The damn thing vents. It comes with an LED ammo counter on the side there. In case you can't tell what that button there at the back does. It vents, just like in the game. If you, once you use that, it doesn't shoot again for four seconds and you have to wait. Every normal shot takes two clicks off the counter. There's the reload button. Wonderful little thing, in case you actually do run out. Mega shots take about ten clicks off the counter, as you'll see here. It's just not a game of laser pursuit without a target. The target can take up to six shots before the end of a game, and normal shots take off one click from the counter, and mega shot will take off three. In this case, it'll end the game. game over. But video ninjas, what about the people who cover the target and cheat? Well, you'll see here, I did test that too. In case you'll pay attention, there are many different angles that I chose while covering up the target with a box. It's kind of hit or miss at this point. This was without the box, waiting for it to reload and reset. Now with the box, kind of off and on when it comes to uh, finding the once you find the sweet spot, it's okay. Most of the time, though, eh, about 50-50. I attributed some of the success to this reflective surface in the background that I was using as a drop, so I removed it, but then found it was pretty much just as effective. Yeah. Even when I tried to cover up that mirror on the left, something was working for me. There was a sweet spot somewhere. So, covering it up not doesn't seem to be a problem with this set. Especially, this is with a solid box that covers a full surface area, as opposed to, you know, using your hand, which has spaces with the fingers, you know, all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at the size of the damn thing now, shall we? Next to a phone... Reload! I tell you right now, I love the size of the targeting sensor. It has a belt clip, battery compartment, e non-obtrusive, easy to run with, feels great. This is the sensor getting hit with the pistol, shot by shot by shot. Here comes the Mega Blast which takes off three clicks. One left. Game over. Fire. Yes, it's a toy, but damn it if that does not look menacing. Another thing I like here is that the everything's pretty much within reach from the fingers. You can. F I was able to flip down the vent with my finger from there. The red light's easy to see and tells you when the gun's ready to fire, either when you just turned on or if you're recharging after a mega shot. LEDs easy to read. The reload button's right there over the thumb. Trigger's right there. The handle's huge for a, an adult to even hold it. Not that adults play with this, of course. The power switch is at the bottom within even Pinky's reach of my fingers. 
makes it easy to turn on and off. It just feels really, really comfortable to hold. If anything, it's a little front heavy, but that's the batteries and you know, just the nature of having a huge weapon like this. I never get tired of hearing that thing click. The misfire that they have here with the Mega Shot is a nice little touch. Obviously, this thing's for collectors, it's for people that really love Halo, and who just want to own a plasma pistol. Handles well, it feels great to hold. For the 50 bucks, I'd say it was worth it just because I'm into the game that much. Overall, thumbs up.